Hey, John Cristani here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get paid for your social media posts. I'm going to outline the three major steps that you need to take in order to start making money from the stuff you post on social media, stop being a consumer, and start being a producer and making money from the internet. Let's get it. Hey, John Cristani here, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to nail your message so that you can make a lot of money from social media. And then I'm gonna go over how to connect with important people in your niche. And then the third step I'm gonna go over is how to provide massive amounts of value and sell products to people at the same time. Because if you want to make money, you have to sell something, right? The money doesn't come from air. And I'm going to outline each of these three steps all the way so that you can start making money from your social media posts. So marketers like Grant Cardone have a main message. So you should too. Like what are the top three things that you tell your audience? Now Grant Cardone's are 10x everything, money is important, and invest in real estate. So somebody who doesn't know their top three things that they are helping their audience with. You're just gonna have a wishy-washy message. Get very clear, get very specific, and know what you're helping people with. You know, for instance, mine are helping people make money online with affiliate marketing and how to create passive income, how to work from home. These are my main messages, and I stick to them in almost every single video that I do. And if you stay clear on your main message, over time, you will start attracting people who agree with your message. You will start attracting people who glom around what your mission is and you will start to form an audience. Now step number two is connecting with the most active people in your niche. I'm actually here chilling at my buddy Kevin David's house right now here in Miami and we just had a cool birthday party for him. You can see right here. Look at that. Happy birthday, Kevin. <laughs> we didn't even eat the cake. We're all on diets, right? Now, one way you can build an audience really fast and connect with people in your niche is using your own personal Facebook profile. So you wanna add people who are already active, who are already customers, or just active in your particular niche. You can also add customer groups and add customers knowing that they already invest. An example would be if you join groups where people have already purchased some sort of gardening product. Maybe there's a gardening tool maker or you know, Toro makes lawn mowers. If you add people from Toro's group, you're finding customers who are already active in landscaping. So you know those are people in your niche. But what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna add people from the promote your business here groups because they're just low quality folks who are really just looking to promote their business. Now, adding the already engaged people makes it easy for you to get engagement on your social media and easy for you to start building an audience from which you can use to sell products to. And that brings us to point number three, which is to provide value and sell at the same time. Now, if you just provide value without selling, you're hurting your monetization potential. Just the money you make from Google AdSense, for instance, on a YouTube video, you're not gonna make much money. The other example is Facebook. Facebook won't even pay you for your videos or whatever you post on Facebook. You have to be selling stuff on social media in order to make money from it. And on the converse, if you just sell products all day to the people in your audience without providing any value, for instance, maybe you, you are providing gardening tips, right? That would be an example of providing value or how to plant tomatoes properly. That would be value. But if you don't do any of that value adding, then your audience is just gonna dislike you over time and they'll leave because they see that you are just trying to sell them products every day. That's not cool. So what you want to do generally in marketing and in social media is you want to provide 80% value and 20% sales. So that way your audience is getting a lot of value and they start following you and the sales, you know, the 20% sales is so that you can actually make money from what you're doing. Now, a good way to really do all of this is when you're providing value is actually 
put the person in a buying state of mind. Now, if I was giving gardening tips, let's say I was teaching folks how to create that really beautiful diamond crosshatch pattern that happens when uh, guys mow the baseball fields, right? You know, that has that beautiful crisscross pattern in the lawn. That would be an example of I am already setting people up to buy a good lawnmower, right? I'm talking about lawnmowers the whole time. And I'm providing value on how to garden, how to do, you know, the proper lawn mowing techniques. So that's an example of I am already setting people up to say, and this is the number one lawn mower I recommend. And the way I could make money from it is if I'm an affiliate for Amazon's affiliate program, for instance, I'd make about 5% of every lawn mower people end up buying. And with an average lawn mower price of maybe $400, we're talking about some good money there, $20 every time somebody purchases a lawnmower from watching my value added content. Another example is if you are a health coach, for instance, and you are teaching folks how to get healthy, you help people create a diet plan and a nutrition plan, that would be a great way for you to lead in. You could provide a lot of value of how to create a diet and a fitness plan. And then the last 20% of your video or your content or your post or whatever it is on social media, you let people know that you can create a customized health plan for them if they contact you for a consultation, right? 80% value, 20% selling. You've built goodwill, you're providing value, and that makes the sale more likely. People will return to you again and again and again and again, and your audience will grow and grow and grow and grow if you provide genuinely helpful information. And that ultimately means as your audience grows, you have the opportunity to sell more products, whether that's lawn mowers, whether that's health coaching, or whatever it is that you are interested in and whatever your niche is. Hope you got some good tips out of this. Make sure to comment below if you have any questions. Make sure you put a like to this video for the YouTube algorithm and slam the subscribe button if you're new to this channel. I put out videos every single day on YouTube during the week and every Monday I have a live stream question and answer, ask me anything session and I also have been giving away a lot of money recently. I uh, hope you subscribe and also uh, make sure if you want to continue the conversation, make sure to check out in the links in the description some of my playlists about how to get started doing what I do, which is affiliate marketing. Or also feel free to join our free community on Discord, which is all around affiliate marketing. And you can talk with other people and see where other members of my community have been able to make money and what videos they watched or what techniques they applied. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.